first took interest in the, the tattoo industry, I think when I accompanied my mom to get her first tattoo and I kind of got a glimpse into like the, the free living that went along with being a, a tattoo artist and that's when I first, you know, it sparked my interest. I'm Sandy Calistro from Denver, Colorado. I tattoo here in Denver at Ritual Tattoo and I'm a painter. Once I was exposed to the tattoo community and I realized it was like just the coolest job I could think of to have as an artist, I just did everything I could to get into it. So I started designing tattoos and selling them to tattoo shops around Colorado. Seeing how, how cool the lifestyle of a tattoo artist was and that it was a little different from the norm. It wasn't, you know, an artist's desk job or something. It was super appealing to me. Yeah, there's no room for error with tattoos. The challenge of that was, you know, what led me to it. I use a lot of Day of the Dead imagery in, in my tattooing and my artwork, so I'm already drawn to it. So seeing the bottle, of course, is gonna is gonna draw me to it. It's colorful. It's got you know the traditional skull. It's got the the Day of the Dead features, and, and I love all that stuff. Tequila has a has a bit of an edginess to it, um, comparatively to other alcohols. For me, tequila is a way to kick off a, a bigger evening and, and kick off a party. Last summer, me and like six friends took a drive down to San Carlos, Mexico, and it was traditional for us to toast with tequila every single night. Obviously, we were in Mexico, so we decided to have tequila be our drink of choice. In learning that there are steps to making a good tequila, it's very comparable to like the tattoo process and the painting process, because there's steps that you take and you have to do it the right way, and you have to finesse it to create the best that you're gonna make. I think I decided to do this drawing because I wanted to incorporate my style with Arta's skull. So I wanted to bring in um, the, the femininity with the flower and the face, like the soft face. The skull brings like a boldness to it. Tattooing is definitely a way for me to leave my legacy through the way that I am passing a piece of my artwork on to another person. Arta, art, it's one and the same. As I take the same steps that a lot of different tattooers have to take to come out with a tattoo, but I, I give it my own edgy style and uniqueness. And I think Arta does that as well. Arta and ink, here's to making it permanent. <laughs>